Lapina working hard. Tynan took it away, though. He can't spin it out. Carrick's got it. Launches one. He scores! Trevor Carrick lets that one fly from just inside the blue line. Batted in the air as the rain. Keep it in. Here's Sutter. He'll let it go, and he scores! That one whipped from the near side face-off dot. And the rain tie it up at a goal apiece just like that. He finds Lee. Almost coast to coast on that one. Loose in front. Doty backside. And that is basically a layup for Hellenius. And he puts it home in the rain. Lead it 2-1. to one. Knows the Einen. He takes an absolute drilling from Patterson at the blue line. And we'll see the rain power play for the first time perhaps as Noje scores as he launches one from just the top of the circle. So never mind, we won't see that Ontario power play. Cleanly tries to send it through traffic and Prince couldn't handle it a little too hot. He'll send this one and he scores! Oh, there's your traffic in front of the net. And Greg Prince brings it back to within one. It's three to two. The goals come alive. Look out here. Wagner back door got his stick all tangled up. And we're going to get a whistle here. And they're going to go. It's Ward and Briard over on the far side wall. A right hand, a few of them from Briard. Ward tried to connect. Now it's a bunch of jersey grabbing at the moment. The officials will... Let them regroup and restart. A little underhand and an overhand from Briard. And they'll exchange swings back and forth. A little bit of a left there from Briard. Back to a right. Ward swings and misses. And they get tangled up finally going down to the ice as Briard. And leading the break. Ferk got no Jay backside. Doesn't matter. He takes it himself. And his first shot on goal tonight finds Pater. Ontario takes a 4-2 lead. Only five seconds left on the power play here, but another breakout for the Lancers. Ruiz coming in back door pass. It's loose. A shot. Oh, what a stop by Meyer, who got the left arm out and kept it away from the goal. And that one cleared up and out. By Saddleback, and Perkins gets on the horse to get over there, picks it up. Fights off a few defenders, gets free, shoots, and scores! Miko Perkins through all five Lancers, ties the game up at one. Because of the efforts of the league to put something together, he was able to get a final eight games or so with his team to wrap up his high school career. He's gonna have to do work here. Asola moves in and he gets the left pad out and makes a brilliant save right on cue. Come the Lancers. Garcia to the backhand, where is it? He scores! Taylor Garcia outweights Grayson Zanke, and the Lancers lead it two to nothing. Look at this. Belgard caught it clean. In by himself. Shoots. No, he pulled it back. The trailer was Lopez and Christ gloves it down. Flick fires one off the glove. Rebound is poked in. Nieto crashes and is able to punch home a rebound and on the power play. Beach Cities doubles their lead. It's two to nothing. Bosca comes into the front of the net. Patriots were looking for a call. They're not going to get it. It's cleared all the way up to Nieto, who's behind everybody in by himself against Rogers. To the backhand, he scores. It caught a piece of the right arm of Rogers and found a way through. And Beach Cities, after killing off a power play, takes a one nothing lead. Jasanis over in the corner, got it out front. Oh, what a glove save by Rogers! who just stuck it out there and took one away from Piper. Shears, oh, what a move around Bosca to come in front, goes between the legs and scores! Owen Shears putting on a show for the fans here in the third period, and the Spartans lead it four to nothing. They can count it down, Pacific Ridge for the first time in school history is gonna win a varsity championship in the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League. Bay Delta, back to pick it up, back behind the net minder, Quinn Kleber. In between the pipes for Bay Delta today. Callum Bird just got the start in their game yesterday. Klaber came in in relief. It's a three on one in front. Castro with a shot. Big rebound and that one buried by Silverman who comes in to clean it up. Two points for Olin here in the first 3-12 and it's 2-0. Silverman not, not foreign to scoring in this, in this league anyway and Buries that one there. That was another just fast-paced goal for this Bay Delta Mariners team. 
and we're already going to have a timeout. Santa Margarita's got to try to figure things out, and the head coach is going, wait a second, let's not let this thing get off the rails this fast. Yeah, Lottie Cohn down there overseeing the program. And they call the timeout, and you know what? They don't care that they're playing a team that's a division higher than they are. They want to come out here and win this game in this showdown to wrap up what's been a pretty successful weekend for them. And they take the timeout early here. One player down today for Bay Delta, Jack Kaju, not in the lineup, upper body injury. He's on the bench. He's got a sling on his left arm. So that's pretty much all you need to know about that as he actually is now walking away from the bench. <laughs> Where's that number seven for Bay Delta? So he's out of the lineup today. So already not a deep bench for Ben Upham and the Mariners. And even shorter with the absence of Kaju. So it's center ice after the goal. Bay Delta will control. Give that goal to Silverman. The assist to Castro, who had the initial shot. And Bay Delta has two goals in the first three minutes and 15 seconds of the opening period. Center. Bay Delta controls. A whiff pass there by Schilling. He'll gather back and send it near side to Tomachak. But held in at the point by Merrill, who sends it over, and Kleber reaching for it to the right side after deflection, but it's off target. Backdoor pass right on the button. They score. And boy, that timeout new wonders. Eagles right back in it. It's 2-1 to one as that puck on that backside was absolutely buried after a rebound there by Trevor Pulaski. Well, you know, Eric, it's not uncommon for the Eagles to be able to turn things around real quick. And it's exactly what you see there. And, yeah, that, that timeout might have been exactly what this team needed to get things figured out. Time to go, four minutes. Great pass across, too, to get it to Pulaski. Flavor really had no shot at it. And we got ourselves a game here early on. Seppinen, one-on-one -on -one the other way. The last defenseman back, directing traffic. That shot skips off the outside of the cage, and the Mariners, oh, well, that one rolled up a little bit on Silverman. He brings it back into the middle to gather better possession and better leverage. And he brings it all the way down to the other end of the ice. One defenseman back. Diatugia into the middle. One timer deflected away. Diatugia got a stick on it. And a shot here from the point goes up over the top of everything. That one off the stick of Sukop. Here comes Sepinen again on the near side. In the middle, he's got Sasulis who fires one toward the cage and Kleber knocks it away. First save for Quinn. Battle for the puck right in front of us. Comes back into the Santa Margarita end where Lucas Cho tried to clear it up to neutral ice. Now he had to battle to get it done again. Bay Delta changing. The linesman counting how many players on the ice for the Mariners just to make sure they are legal. And they are as Badami sends it in here for Santa Margarita. Back behind the net is Tomachak. In the middle. Oh, looked like he stepped on the puck did Abel Martinez, and that keeps the puck in his own defensive zone. C holds it in, Lang over there to help, but eventually it squirts out. A lot of room here for Aiden Engels. One against one, now two on two, but a little bit too quick on the near side was Abel Martinez. He's offside. We get a whistle with 9.17 to go in the first. Obviously the season had already been condensed, and that seems to be the new model going forward, but condensed even further with the restrictions that are put into place. What was the schedule-making process like for the league, and how fast and furious is it going to be once things get started in January? That's why they were D3 champs. Hey, you got to win with goaltending. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the number one thing, right? Is Servite comes out, and they, they had a, a pretty good start to that game against Capistrano United. Wasn't exactly sure how it was going to turn out. We didn't know how long they were going to be able to hold off the Coyotes because of their firepower, and they come out, only need a couple of goals. They're able to keep the Coyotes off the board. They get a huge win. They're the lowest seed ever to win a championship in the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League. They were the number nine seed. They took out the number one seed in that Commissioner's Cup final. Just a, an awesome run by Mike Marshall and his Friars, and we'll see if Servite can come back and get another one next year. Division two, we had a shutout as well. I mean, Bosco showed why they're perennial champions in the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League. They go out, they hit the ice. You know they're gonna give 110, 150% every time they go out. Thomas Capusta had them ready to go. 
and they brought home another title.